miles with every load. That was the difference. I think from here over to St. George, it'd probably be 50 some miles, and the other way it'd be 250 miles. Wow. Where they'd have to drive around. There was no road through, through the tunnels and out the east side then. You had to come in by St. Cedar City. Mm -hmm. Around Bop Way. Now then, there's a trail that runs up here and works up. And eventually you can get up on top. And this is where uh, her cousin goes hunting. He's hunted there for 20 years. Okay. And uh, compared to Twilla hunting, it's lousy. You know, when I first come here, we used to go to Woolsworth and Cressets. They had a great big picture of this rock on the wall. I used to look at that. I will see that rock someday. Okay. In 1962, we got a Volkswagen bus. And I was 17. I told them, I thought, we're going to take a ride down through the parks. It was the middle of August. Not the best of times. So we took off. We'd come to Fish Lake and Barry was driving and we looked over at one of the cabins there and the railing was that high off the ground. And there was a fish hanging there and his tail was dragging. And Barry got so excited he drove into the bar pit. Oh. But he saw that fish. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we went to Bryce's. We saw Bryce's. We went to all the points. You've got to drive back 20 miles. Well, you remember, we drive clear back to the arch. Then we come here and we slept on the sand on the east side. And I thought we wouldn't sleep on the ground on account of snakes. Bear and I slept in the sand there in our sleeping bags. Had a good night's rest. And as we come in, there was a fellow down here had his camera set up and he was taking a picture of this. And a month later, I come home from work and Ethel says, you know, I was watching TV today and I showed a picture of the white throne and a Volkswagen come by with our license number on it and three people in the front seat. <laughs> you missed that. <laughs> so I missed it. I never did get to see it, but she saw it twice. You know, when they have a picture run out and they have five, ten minutes to fill and have to fill in. And that's what she saw. So, and then from there, we went down to the Grand Canyon, and I kept telling Barry, while we get up the next hump, and we'll be there. The next hump, another five miles, and there's another one. Ah, uh, this next one is the one. Then there'll be the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And we're doing 20 miles an hour. <laughs> Finally, we get to the Grand Canyon. Now then, there's a trail up there. See the people up there? Right through that tree? And go up back and forth up there. And go clear up on top. How long does it take to get up there, Dad? I wouldn't know. We got that far up and uh, Mary started having trouble with her it takes leg. About an hour. And take that. Uh, it's, it's a nice climb. It's a... Now then, you get out with me. He's going to give you $5. Welcome to the Bedrock. The Eastburn country like this like you see right here. And the people can tell where the water's coming from by the color of the water. If it's this color, they know it comes from these signs. And if it's red, it comes from up in Kola. Hey, this is a new place, Mary. There's the road I was telling you about. Yeah.
Constitution, they quit it. Now, over at Tokerville, they had the same thing going. But it so happened that a few started getting control of all the property, so they cut it out. <laughs> 